we are now able to show a little pop-up window anytime a user clicks on a marker. So this is definitely a good advancement, but now we probably want to customize the content inside of that window. So let's flip back over to our code editor and figure out how we can do this. I'm still looking at add marker right here. Remember, the content that gets shown in the window is going to be assigned to this content property when we create the info window. So the real question here is how are we going to customize this content? We probably want to customize that content depending upon whether we passed in a user or a company as an argument to add marker. Or put another way, put it more precisely, we probably want to make this content right here a responsibility of this argument. In other words, we want this argument, this object, to have some property or some method attached to it. And anytime we reference that property or call it, it should return some string that will be displayed inside of the info window. So in other words, what we're doing here is adding in a new requirement for this argument. We're saying that now, in order to be considered to be mappable or to be an argument to add marker, you have to have a method. Anytime we call that method, it should return a string, and that string will be some HTML to show inside the info window. So in order to update the definition of this argument, we're going to add a new requirement to this interface. So remember, we define mappable at the top of the file. I'm going to go back up here. So we're going to say that now, in order to be considered to be mappable, to be an argument to the add marker function, you also have to have a property called, how about marker content? This has to be a function. And anytime we call this thing, you have to return a string. So we've now added in a new requirement to our interface. If we save this and then flip back over to index.ts, you'll notice that we now have an error around add marker and add marker right here. If we hover over the arguments, you'll notice that it says property marker content is missing from user, but it's required by our interface. So we just updated the interface. We added in a new requirement to be an argument to add marker, but user and company do not yet have that property. So we now have to go back to our user definition, our user class, and our company class and make sure they satisfy this new requirement. They both have to have a method called marker content and they have to return a string. So let's try doing that right now. Back inside of user.ts, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the class underneath the constructor. Usually our constructor method is going to be at the very top right after any properties we want to list. And then right here, we're going to add in marker content. This is going to be a function. Anytime we call it, we have to return a string. So then inside of here, we will return, how about just like user name is, and actually, you know what, let's use a template string here. So I'm gonna use backticks instead, just to kind of inject the username. So I'm gonna place the backticks and we'll do this dot name like so. Okay, so now user has a marker content method that returns a string. And that means that now user satisfies our mappable interface. It has all the different properties that mappable is required to have. So if we now go back over to index.ts, you'll notice that the error is gone. So now we can repeat the same process for company as well. I'm going to go back over to my company. Here's class company right here. And again, at the bottom of the class, I'm going to add in a new method called marker content. It has to be called marker content because that's what our interface right here is requiring. We cannot just arbitrarily name the method something different inside of company. The interface is going to look specifically for a method called marker content. So back inside of company, here's marker content. We're going to annotate it as a return type of string. And then inside of here, we can once again return something like company name. And we'll print out this dot company name. And you know what, just for fun, let's also show the company catchphrase as well. So inside this string, I'm going to turn it into a multi-line string like so. And then we'll do catchphrase is this dot catchphrase. Remember that these strings can actually be HTML. We just saw that inside of the type documentation file or the type definition file. So if you wanted to, we could also wrap the company name with an H1 tag. And maybe the catchphrase gets like an H3. And then let's just wrap all this with a div. Like so.
All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, one thing I want to mention here about this interface stuff, you'll notice that marker content right here is just saying we have to return a string. That's all it's saying. This interface is not going to somehow make sure that we are returning like the correct string from marker content. So inside of company.ts, if we put some like completely gibberish string inside of here with some nonsense HTML, TypeScript's not going to complain at all. The only thing TypeScript is doing is making sure that we have this method that returns the correct type. If we goof the implementation of the method, that's still on us. TypeScript can only do so much. Okay, so now we got the new definition of marker content in both our company and our user. They are both now satisfying the updated interface. So they can continue to be arguments to add marker. You'll notice that both those errors have now gone away. So now the last thing we have to do is go back over to custom map, down inside of the add marker function, we still have a hard-coded string here of hi there. So now we're going to say, rather than using that hard-coded string, take a look at that mappable argument, the argument that we passed into add marker. Mappable now has a new function tied to it called marker content. So now anytime that we click on the info window, rather than showing simply hi there, we want to show the content that comes from that marker content function of the argument. So we'll do mappable dot marker content, like so. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's save this thing. I'm going to flip back over to my browser, do a refresh, and then I'll click on one of these. And I see username Enic, or yeah, uh, Enic, I suppose, pop up. And if I click on the other one, I'll see an H1 and an H3 for the company name and catchphrase. So that's it. All right, so this has been a lot of fun here. Let's take a quick pause and we'll do a wrap up in the next section to make sure once again, that we understand what's going on with this interface. And you know what, actually now that I think about it, there's one last little bit of code I want to add in this project just to show you something very quickly. So quick pause and I'll see you in just a minute.